Sorry for the disconnection of the internet. Okay, let's complete our studies and the many steps for the procurement process. As we said that you will achieve the seven R's in the procurement and they are very important to measure the performance of the procurement team. So what are the many studies that you can go through if you are working in the procurement process or in the, or in the procurement job? So in the procurement job, you have firstly to receive something called purchase request or material request. And we will apply a case, apply our studies in a case. Suppose that there is ABC company, they are in India and they are producing garment, so they will produce jacket. This company will, in order to produce, to manufacture the jacket, they will need some things like receiving the fabric. Suppose that they are in need for Egyptian fabric, so they, their planning team or their warehouse if they have need for this items, you will send the purchase request to the procurement team in India. The procurement team in India first receive a complete detailed material request. Okay? Then they think how to start. They have to send this request to some suppliers in Egypt or suppliers who are producing the Egyptian cotton or selling it. After search, they found that there is some suppliers are located in Egypt and some other suppliers are located in China. In this case, they will send something called requests for quotation to the two suppliers or to the two countries in Egypt and also in China. This is second stage. After receiving the material request, they are sending the material request, uh, sorry, they are, they are sending the purchase request uh, to as request for quotation to the suppliers in Egypt and in China. Then suppliers, two suppliers from Egypt and one supplier from China send offers to the Indian procurement team. They receive three offers, different three offers from different three suppliers. Then they go to the, another, the next st stage to make offer evaluation. Sometimes or most of the time they are using something called offer evaluation form to evaluate the received offers from different suppliers to have a chance to negotiate with them and finally they have the final offers put all of them in one form then they can select with the technical department or with themselves the best supplier for these materials according to some criteria like the price like the total cost like even the uh, geographic area so they can select this supplier. After selecting the supplier according to offers the evaluation form, then we move to the further step. The further step or next stage is to placing the order or purchase order. We are calling it in procurement the PO. So in this area or in this stage, please take care to make your order as detailed and including all the details about all your process or your, or your deal. After placing the order to the supplier, Indian team should follow up with the supplier. Suppose that they are in Egypt, the supplier, so they have to follow with the Egyptian producer till they finish producing this item. Then they started to move using the international freight to India and they send the commercial and shedding documents to the Indian procurement team. Okay, thank you, Habib Mustafa. Shukra. So, after sending this uh, shipping documents to the Indian importer, then the finalizing the customs clearance process. So, they after that receiving it in their warehouse. After receiving it at their warehouse, they are finishing it with three-way matching. What's the meaning of three-way matching? It means that after you, the procurement team receiving the, the goods at their warehouse, they have to match three main things. Number one, the request for quotation for the demand department like the production or like the uh, planning in some times. Secondly, the received goods and documents with the third one is the PO agreed with the supplier. 
after they find that everything is okay, then they can finalizing the process and the deal by placing the payment request to the financial team to pay the supplier the required value for their process. Okay, let's recap what we already talked about. To make it very brief, today we talked about the procurement process. Procurement process, we covered two main things. The definition of procurement and the main status. We mentioned that the procurement is the department, the, the department that responsible for satisfying the needs of the firm, whatever the firm is, a company that producing or trading company. This is the definition and briefly about the procurement. Secondly, there are some main studies. We mentioned that in some brief details about the, these studies receiving the material request, sending a request for quotation, and sometimes you are sending a request for proposal. And secondly, you after that, um, stage number three, you're receiving the offers from the suppliers, making the offer comparison, selecting the best supplier, placing your order to purchase order to the supplier, and finally you receive it and matching it and pay for your supplier. So this is very brief about the procurement and in procurement there are many, many areas that need more details and we can cover later on in other uh, videos speaking about this status in some details. But this video, my friends, if somebody needs to pass the interview with the company about the main status of the procurement, he can use it and he can use some terms like purchase request, like request for quotation, request for, for proposal, and request for information. Of course, there is different details between each one of them. And finally, this my video today, like it to share with you some information about the procurement process and the procurement stage. I hope that it is adding value for you. And this is my end, uh, this is the end for this uh, video. And before leaving you, I thank all the people that saying encouraging words for me, those people who are supporting by watching and sharing and liking my video. Thanks a lot for being with me. And I hope that I can meet with you and uh, share with you some videos in the first uh, in the nearest future. Thanks a lot and salam alaikum.